Good morning, gang. Happy Friday morning. It's another beautiful day here in Wisconsin. I know for a lot of you, we've got uh, kids on their last day of school. We've got a lot of teachers in the group who are celebrating their last day of school. Hope you guys have fun with that. For some reason here in Hudson, we have another week left or till next Thursday anyway. Not quite sure why, because all the schools around us are done now, but we are not done till next week, so our kids got to gut it out in another week. So, hope you guys have a great day and have a really fun last day of school. Today, I want to talk to you about followers and leaders. There's a natural progression from being a follower to turning into a leader. First and foremost, there is nothing wrong with being a follower. Everybody starts as a follower. Back when I started getting into fitness in 2007, 2008, I was a follower. I was doing what I was told. I was just doing it for me and having someone help me, like Tony Horton and P90X back here, to get healthy and get fit. What happens eventually is you're a follower and you're being a good follower. The key is to be a really good follower. Listen to the leaders, do what they tell you, ask for advice, ask for help. You're going to be a phenomenal follower, okay? What's going to happen is it's like a timeline. You're going to get to that max level where this is just about all you can do as a follower. At that time, to keep going, to keep the motivation and the accountability, a lot of people need to turn that switch, take a step up, and become a leader. And I'm not talking just about becoming a beach body coach. If the beach body coaching thing is for you, awesome. If it's not, no big deal. You can still become a leader. What'll happen when you become a leader versus a follower? You are going to have expectations on yourself. You are putting yourself out there as someone who can help other people or give advice. You're the person who people say, geez, what have you been doing? You look great. When people start saying that to you, that's the opportunity to become a leader. When you become that leader, your accountability is going to get stepped up a notch. You're going to sit there and say, well, all these people are looking to me for advice and motivation and accountability. I've got to do it. I've got to step it up. Your mentality, there's going to be a switch in your mind. Your confidence level is going to take a leap. And I know right away it's hard to see yourself as a fitness leader. I didn't see myself that way. I was a banker. It's like, who's going to listen to me about fitness? And to beat my own drum a little bit, look at me now. I, I like to think I'm a fitness leader. I'm no Tony or I'm no Shanti. I'm my own little, little thing here. But I'm a fitness leader. I didn't start that way. I was nervous. I wondered why on earth would people listen to me. But I decided I'm going to stop being a follower. I'm going to take the next step. And I'm going to become a leader. And it has made me dial into my own programs, my own fitness, my own accountability, my own personal development to make sure that I keep my mind in the game. And I, I do great with my own health. I, I have times I struggle, but I do great because I know I'm a leader. So what I want to ask of you guys is those of you who, you know, you, you probably know, you're maybe getting towards that end of being a follower. Think about what you would need to do to become a leader. Be it joining our Beachbody coaching team, which if you want to do that, fantastic. Or just putting yourself out there as a leader. Maybe helping one friend. You know, if you're, if you're not comfortable, you know, putting yourself out there in public, reach out to that one friend. All it takes is one person. And if you help them, your mindset's going to change. And all of a sudden, you're a leader. I would love to see more of you guys become leaders. Those of you who are still in follow mode, keep going. Be a good follower. You guys have a great weekend. Love you as always. Keep in the game. Keep motivated. And I'll see you on Monday.